Hi Dave AC, it's Steve Whitty here, it's Sunday morning here in the UK, sun is shining and that's really about the only positive it feels at the moment. Um, happy Mother's Day to all those who've got mothers out there, I'm thinking about mine of course today. Um, yes, I didn't do a video last week, I apologise for that. As I'm not self-isolating but I'm not going out today, well, you know, I'm not. You know, as much as the weather looks good, I suppose we've got to take the advice that's been given to us and stay in where possible. Um, I've been recently just finished reading this book, um, Electric Eden by Rob Young. And this is a fascinating book. It's really charting about sort of like history about um, people, um, British popular music. But it's really about on the folk side of things. It tells the tale of how people started uh, collecting old folk songs um, in the late 19th century and early 20th century and how that sort of passed down folk clubs um, and more in how it's cropped up in mean, modern music obviously you've got the folk rock movement which is where the primarily what I'm talking about in the, vid in the video but how it um, influenced people like the Kate Bush, Julian Cope, Talk Talk um, and also how the folk folk um, Sort of like, sort of inspired a little bit some of the um, festivals that we take and know and love now. Um, yeah, great book, worth seeking out if you haven't got, read it. I suppose the doyens of folk rock are Fairport Convention. Uh, oops, I almost dropped that. Um, I'm just carrying my five CD uh, set, which has got the first five albums, Fairport Convention. What we did on our holidays. I'll show you those CDs because I haven't got the actual vinyl of those. And I'm half brick in Leaf and Legion, Full House. Um, the first debut uh, uh, Fairport Convention album featured Julie Dibel on vocals. Um, she was soon sacked. It's very much a, a, a sort of pop psych album. Um, it's only when Sandy Denny joined the band uh, for the top for what we did on our holidays that the folk really took over. She'd been singing in the folk clubs, very, and she'd come, been singing with the Straubs. Um, that's a band I haven't got this record out. I could have shown, but um, yeah, sort of do doyens. So that's the first two albums. Really, the things started to take off. Time of the third album, Unhalf Bricking. Um, Released in 69, you've got here, um, obviously the, the sort of classic, it's almost like getting the two classic lineups. So you've got Sandy Denny, Ashley Hutchins, Martin Lamble, Simon Nickel and Richard Thompson. Um, it, the album includes um, Si, si Tu Do Partir, which is their uh, take on Bob Dylan's If You've Got to Go Now, and it was sung in French. And probably the most timeless track of them all, Who Knows Where the Time Goes, um, which is a Sandy Denny song. This was a special edition on HMV, which was in pink vinyl. Not long after this album was released, tragedy struck the band coming home from a gig at Mother's in Erdington, Birmingham. Um, the van crashed, rolled over, and it killed not only Richard Thompson's fiance but Martin Lamble. Um, Rather than um, taking time out to make slip the rooms, they they recruited Dave Mattox and Dave Swarbrick joined the band permanently, and probably produced if the one album of the folk rock genre you need to have, and that's his Le Legion Leaf, um, re released towards the end of nineteen sixty nine, um, just a perfect album. All the influences, and I think Swarbrick did add a lot to the band at this point um, and just absolutely perfect just perfect album this is by far their best unfortunately probably um, the healing aspect of the crash took its toll Ashley Hutchins wanted time out and he left the band and more importantly Sandy Denny left she wanted to spend more time with Trevor Lucas her boyfriend who would become her husband um, and they would form Fotheringay together. Um, so they left. The rest carried on and produced Full House, 
Um, and this was the last album to feature Richard Thompson. Um, he uh, and on here it, it, it carried on 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 the folk bit, and you could sort of see the sort of like the sleeve there. This is a island. I'm probably showing you this pink label, uh, island pink label. So pleased to have have that. It's, it's a good album. I mean, Fairport Convention carried on with Ireland into the seventies. Um, they did split up in seventy nine. And then to get back together, and that was but formerly what's known as the Cropperty Festival, which takes place in every August, um, two day festival, I believe, um, where Fairport Convention will play and various people connected to Fairport will play as well. It's always popular, it's all, it always sells out. Um, and it's just very popular. To, I know Pete and the shop goes every year, with, you know, it's, it's an annual ritual. Real, uh, real ale, uh, some decent music. Richard Thompson, I said, left. He did Hen Henry the Human Fly, but also at this time he, he married uh, Linda Peters, and it, they became Richard and Linda Thompson. Um, I've got on vinyl Hokey Pokey. I have got. I want to see the bright lights, the debut album together uh, on CD. I have. It, it is on pre-order with Amazon now. Obviously, with what's going on at the moment. It's supposed to be coming next week. I'm not going to hold my breath. Uh, you know, more important. Amazon's got more important things to deliver at the moment. Um, at this time, they um, they adopted the, the Sufi, uh, uh, converted to Islam, the Sufi uh, version of it. Uh, and unfortunately, they had a, it had a spectacular split in the end. Um, this is not a bad album. I want to see the bright lights tonight's the better one and shoot out the night is the other one I think you need to get hold of. Ashley Hutchins formed Steel Eye Span. I haven't got all uh, in fact let me jump from Ashley Hutchins. I'll go back to Sandy Denny. Um as I said, she went she formed Fovering Gay, that sort of folded after one album. And she went on to be a sad artist. Again, this is just a little box set of five of uh, five albums. Um, uh, North North Star, Grassman, and the Ravens. This is Sandy. And this is really was the attempt to whoop, to really um, try and break her in the mainstream. You've got the David Bailey. Um, cover there straight attractive um didn't flop the album she did she wasn't that particularly successful and then like an old-fashioned waltz where she did a lot of old standards then there was rendezvous which was the last studio album and then this and this is probably the saddest thing you i'll listen to this is Goldust, and it's the final concert she ever did. Um, as it says, Sunday the 27th of November. She passed away of a brain hemorrhage in, tw in the following year. Um, she had, had a dark side, had her demons, liked a pint or two, and I think that I sort of overtook, uh, whoop, uh, overtook her. I mentioned Ashley Hutchins left. He formed Steel Ice Band. Uh, he only played on three albums. I think he played on this um, Ten Man Mop or Mr. Reservoir. Yeah, you know, Mr. Reservoir Butter Rides Again uh, or Butler Rides Again. Okay, I think he's on. He's on. He's on this, but he felt a little bit unfulfilled by the direction it was going in. Um, yeah, t uh, Tim Hart and Maddie Pryor wanted to go in a more mainstream. He was more traditional. He left to form the Albion Band. Who also, at this point, Steel Ice Span had this guy, and I've shown this before, Martin Carthy. Um, this is the Carthy Chronicles. He stayed more mainstream. He played the electric guitar on this, but he sort of like, he, did, he didn't want to go the rocky route. I think he objected to... Uh, um, who who the band was going to uh, replace um, Ashley Hutchins with on bass, and so he decided he'd better off to take the stick. This is an absolute. This was a find and half. It's over five hours of music, 
and it's just basically an overview of Martin Carfee. Um, very much a purist. He, he's probably folk royalty in the UK, um, Norman Waterstone, um, and his daughter, uh, Eliza McCarthy. Um, it, it, it is a really corky set box. It, they did one, the company did one on a fair foot convention as well. These are quite, quite rare. This is probably one of the most valuable things I've got in my collection. So that is those bands. And then you look look at bands like, well, I suppose, the Incredible String Band. Now, I've got um, Pangman's Beautiful Daughter and, I think, as a CD. The only vinyl I've got of theirs, and I was looking, fortunate to find that, this is the um, the Big Hue. Um, this came out in 1968. Um very nice Robin Williamson and Mike Heron on there very much a band of its time um, very much a band of its thinking um, much of the hippie lifestyle um, living in sort of like remote cottages um, very difficult group to get into I, I'm, I'm, I'm still struggling in a way to get into them but I suppose give it time I will on the back of the book, it's worth, uh, worth checking. From Scotland. Um, you know when you've got an itchy nose and you can't touch your face? That's what I'm feeling at the moment. <laughs> Moving to the northeast, one band on the folk scene, folk rock, Lindy's Farm. This is Fog on the Time. This is uh, probably their big album because it's got the, two of their biggest songs on here, Meet Me on the Corner, and obviously the title track, Fog on the Time, which is sort of like a which is the song they're most associated with. Very popular in the early 70s. They were on the Charisma label. There's the Pink Charisma label. Um, achieved number one album, I think, with this. It was very successful. But they split up in the early um, 70s initially. And just a couple of guys, Alan Hall, uh, went. he went solo. A couple of guys went and formed Jack the Lad. Now that's um, a term for anyone... Um, Jack the Lad, someone, a bloke that's a bit, you know, flighty, but um, doesn't give a doesn't sort of give a care about anything. This is their second album, the old straight track, sort of very folky um, um, songs over in um, very folky in um, the northeastern way, so it's sort of, sort of that traditional in their area. Another probably of the great gr groups of the folk rock era in my collection is the Pentangle. I recently just picked this up last week, their debut album. It's very, very difficult to come by, and you, know, you can see how much I paid for it. Um, and there was another copy in the shop that was 45 quid. Um, Pentangle uh, were made up of Bert Yanch, John Redbourne. Terry Cox, Danny Thompson, and Jackie McKee. They're very much it was a lot considered to be a bit of a super group. Um, we've got John Peel, um, sort of notes, sleeve notes on here. Um, it's they were produced by Shel Tommy. Tell me, um, so it's very much considered to be aimed at the pop mainstream market. Um, and it, um, John Redbourne and Bert Yanch and Jackie McKee were from a sort of folk background. Terry Cox and Danny Thompson were more uh, jazz bass, and that's what the combination works. And then they come to the second album. This is a double album. This is called Sweet Child. You just see, you see that, yeah. Um, so one side of it's live, it's a live album. The other side's a studio album. Um, absolutely wonderful. Oh. And then. Basket of Light. Um, this is the one nearest they had to take the single. The opening track on here is called Light Flight. Um, I've mentioned this when I show this. It was a theme song to a drama series called Take Three Girls on the BBC. Um, they split up. Danny Thompson um, became more of a, a, a sort of like gigging, a jobbing bass player, sessions, whatever. And 
he became really famous for help playing bass with John Martin. Um, John Martin um, is quite an interesting character. He took the guitar in folk, but he had sort of like sort of like a played for like echo plex or something like that and it sort of creates different sounds and it's very more at atmospheric i mean this is the the album of his to have and it's um solid air but there are other great albums to you know, it, it, i'd recommend you have with john martin inside out which followed up um solid air One world. This is absolutely wonderful. This this is almost ambient in in, in this in the when listening to this, and then if you find this as a compilation, this is a good one. So far, so good. Um, bit of a character, John Martin. Like to drink. I think their um, his relationship with Thompson could be explosive. Both like to drink at the time, um, whereas Thompson sort of like quit, sort of quit. And um, he dis too discovered um, Islam as well. So it turned um, John Martin carried on. He, you know, he was not very nice to his wife Beverly. Um, he ended, he's drinking and got, you know, I think he ended up having to lose it, lose part of his leg, and then he passed passed away a few years ago. He was also friend, and Linda Peters was friend. This is Linda Pe Pe Go back to Linda Peters. She was sort of like a platonic boyfriend of this guy Nick Drake. Um, you know, an artist that seems to, everyone loves that seemed to at the time nobody brought the records, partly because he was painfully shy and wouldn't um, wouldn't to her. Uh, and you can almost see from the picture there that the, how uncomfortable he feels uh, just sitting in front of the ca camera holding the guitar. Um, he had all sorts of issues and died of an accidental overdose. But one of the things that Joe Boyd persuaded Chris, Chris Blackwell to do was never delete his records. So his stuff was always been available, whether it be reissues or what. Um, and it's you know, it, and the, it, like all things, word of mouth grows, the influence changes, and it, 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 people will get seek it out. They listen. They think, "Wow, this is wonderful." In fact, when Radio Two did a documentary over in the UK, it was Brad Pitt who wanted who actually uh, introduced it. He was the narrator of it. Such a fan he was, uh, uh, he is of of Nick Drake. Um, so there's really my folk rock records. It's not. It's just a bit a bit of rambling, really, it's just to sort of break the monotony. Um, it is difficult times we live in. I hope everyone is well. I mean, I I'm not going to lie. I have found, I've been started working from my own. This week, and I have found it difficult. I find it very difficult now. The shop, um, it's a non-essential shop, so he's he's shut, he's shut yesterday. Um, the Oxfam, where I volunteer through, that's now shut. Um, it's 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 hard. It's hard. The sun is shining. You want to be out, and yeah, difficult. We but we've got to get through. We got we know why we have to do it because the alternative is not on our you know. No different to anybody else. Uh, ultimately, in the end, but on the positive side, I'm going to actually get, get be able to catch up, and watch videos. I think, <laughs> and maybe make a few more as well. You know, it's you know, and I think what I will look, take from this experience is that I think I won't. No, I think we should never ever take for granted the fact that we can get, actually go out and breathe fresh air. Because now suddenly that's been taken away from us. Obviously, I've still got to go out to get supplies. I'm not self isolating. There's nothing wrong with me at the moment. Touch wood. No, well, actually, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> um, but you know, we'll stick through to it. As long as yeah, we keep out, keep an eye out for each other and just make sure we're all alright. We'll be fine. Hopefully, in the, by the time the next video, I mean, knows we'll have gone back to normal. Anyway, so thank you know, thank you for for your time i hope you enjoyed the video if you're new to the channel you like what you see click on subscribe button thumbs up thumbs down love the interaction and feel free to comment i mean as i say i'm going to start catching up a little bit on comments this afternoon play some records clean some records 
Um, that's a good way, actually, manually cleaning them, not using the machine is actually a good way of keeping active, um, burn some calories off. Um, so whatever you get up to, you know, just take care of yourselves, take care of one another. On one another. Uh, until the next video, keep spinning. <laughs> keep spinning. Keep smart, and more importantly, keep smiling. <laughs> and I hopefully I'll remember my lines next time. Look after yourselves.